When we finish Java, I'll probably take a week or two off, then I'm going to start another free-to-play journey here. I'm looking for suggestions. Go to my Discord. We have a room open for it. I think it's called the Free-to-Play Suggestion Room. Greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, here on week 41. 41 weeks of playing free-to-play, rushing for Jabba the Hut. Here's our glorious roster right in front of us. And today we're going to finish Boba, Boba Fett. We're going to get him wrapped up. And then we're going to take a look at um, kind of the struggles, the grind here at the end. You know, it's been, we've been grinding the whole way and everything. But as we get to the end of farming characters, now the grind is all on signal data and Kyrotex. And that's all that everything is about for me right now. So we'll kind of take a look at that and see what kind of grind I've got in front of me here. But week 41, we're going to finish Boba Fett. I'm going to show you here um, actually scavenging these uh, um, um, electrum conductors. I got everything else done. I was able to farm everything else like my Zin Biddles by using the my uh, my Mark III raid currency, but it's all spent now and I got nothing left. So I'm gonna get these electrum conductors by, um, by uh, excuse me, through the scavenger shop. And we're gonna take Boba Fett to Relic 7 and finish him off for the Java farm. Now, I wanna point out that right now I need these for a Gamorrean guard, uh, uh, Bosk is not part of the farm, so not farming boss, but just I need both these for Gamorrean Gar, but these are pretty common pieces and they will come up again. So I might be costing myself a little bit of time by doing this, but honestly, I'm going to have to do this at some point anyway. I need 10 more of these and I think it's going to take everything I've got here. What did it cost you? Everything, almost everything. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're just going to wrap up all 10 of these electric conductors. It's a little bit over, but I need I still need a bunch of them on the roster. So let's get Boba Fett to Relic 7 and let's finish this off and then talk about where we're going from here and what at with the grind that is ahead of us as far as signal data and relic materials and uh, Kyrotex for the future. So there's Boba Fett. He is complete. Let's go look at that. Let's go look at that Jabba the Hutt farm right now. That that pop-up is all day long for Seer Juna, man. Okay, so if I look at my Galactic Republic, Galactic, Galactic Legend farms here, we've got Han Solo done. We've got Outrider done, and now we have Boba Fett done. So if we look at, I'm trying to think of my, my Relic 3s. My Relic 3s are Jawa, Mob Enforcer, and Gamorrean Guard. So the garbage characters are just Relic 3. And it, once I get those guys to gear 13, it's a very short trip to Relic 13 for those. So those three are not going to cost me a lot of time. If I have, I have one Relic 4, a Rur, a Rur, but I'm still getting shards for in my Bronziums. And Relic 4, once again, is not a huge investment of time. So Jawa, Arur, uh, uh, Mob Enforcer, and Gamorrean Guard, not going to cost me a lot of time. So it's not killing me to put them off for a little bit. Now let's look at my Relic 5s. Kersantan, uh, Skiff Guard Lando, and Boosh Leia. So we look at Kersantan, Skiff Guard Lando, and Boosh Leia. Where am I with these guys right now? I, every time I go in... This Seer Junda bundle has been non-stop today. I don't want to buy your Seer Junda bundle. Stop it. I can't believe I'm saying Seer Junda bundle out loud. That's a that's a, a collection of words that would not have been in my mouth just a few years ago. A few short years ago. Okay. Now, Kersantan, Bush Leia, and Skiffguard Lando. Those are the guys that end up going on Jabba's team. So, as far as Skiffguard Lando, right now I'm in Kyrotech hell with Skiffguard Lando. I've got 83 of the laptops and I've got 102 of the, of the Kyrotex shock prods. I think that come next week, because I think at gear 11, I won't, ha I won't have any Kyrotex for him. Gear 12, it'll be 100 more. I think when I come back and see you next week, I'll be able to relic Skiffguard Lando and get him to relic. So I'll have that part of it done. And then I will enter, and then I will enter Kyrotech Hell with your pal Kersantan here. I got, uh, I don't know, another... 300, 400 Kyrotech, maybe 300 Kyrotechs ahead of me for Kersantan. So I'm going to do the difficult, grindy farms up front. It's going to be, it'll be Skiffguard Lando Relic, Kersantan Relic, and then the relics that I'll have left will be Jawa, Gamorrean Guard, Mob Enforcer, Aurur Aurur. We've talked about those, right? Those are the ones that are easy pickings that I get at the end, and Greedo. And I think that's the only relics I'll have left to do, so... Yeah, so once I finish the Skiffguard Lando Kersantan Kyrotech grind, then I'm just going to have Greedo, Jawa, Arurur, and Mob Enforcer, and Gamorrean Guard left to Relic on the roster. So 
that'll be great. So it's the Kyrotech grind there, but it's a signal data grind. I've got to get C-3PO to Relic 7. I've got to get a Jedi Knight Luke once I get him unlocked here in a few weeks, beginning of April. As soon as the Executrix, Executrix event comes out, boom, I'm going to have Jedi Knight Luke activated and i got to get him to Relic 7. Uh, so he's a Relic 7. Boosh Leia there is just at gear 13 right now. She's a Relic 5. I'm going to go ahead and add a Relic level to her. Uh, and t I'll tell you what. Actually, I'm probably going to work on... We're going we're gonna to work on Boosh Leia next. I'm going to work on Boosh Leia getting her to Relic 5. I'm going to hold off on those Relic 7s. Man, they're wearing me out. I don't know. I say that, but then maybe I'll go... Maybe I'll do 3PO. I, I need to get 3PO to Relic 7. He's probably my next best target as I look at it here. I gotta get some more of these. I don't have any more energy to spend. Uh, let's see, do I have any hundreds? I got a hundred there, and I got some extra crystals right now. So let's take C3PO. Is this Relic 3 or Relic 4? Relic 4 for C3PO. So I'll get I'll get C3PO to Relic 7. I don't know if I'll have that ready next week. It's a challenge, you know. I've got all the materials and stuff, although I need some more of these heat sinks right now. But the the uh, signal data is a difficult farm for me. Now I, I'm about to get some extra crystals for Grand Arena today. That'll be nice. So. Um, yeah, so C-3PO will be our next Relic 7. Then we're going to be looking at uh, Boosh Leia, um, Fennec Shand, Aura Singh, Greedo. Yeah, that was, we're not really that far away, guys. We're not really that far away. The Jedi Knight Luke is the biggest, biggest thing we got ahead of us. And I, I, I just can't wait to get this done. Now, I'm not playing any Conquest. I just I don't have time for another Conquest. So I'm not going to play Conquest this time around. Just be aware of that as we move forward. So let's go look at this Java farm again. So, uh, Kersantan 5, that's the Kyrotech grind. Gamorrean Guard 3, we're going to call that low-hanging low fruit. Easy stuff. Greedo 6, wow, that's just that's just cruel and unusual punishment, but we'll take care of that down the road. Skip Guard Lando, I think we'll have him to Relic next week after we finish the Kyrotech grind. Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker is going to be here in a, a couple of weeks. So at the beginning of April, they'll have the Executrix event. I'll get him activated. That's another Kyrotech grind for me. He's going to be like, I think, 400 Kyrotechs to get to get Jedi Knight Luke up to up to Relic levels. So, another Kyrotech grind there. Jawa, or Rur, we're going to call him easy. C-3PO, single data. I'll see if I can get him done for next week. I doubt it, but we'll see if we can get him done and finished. Boosh Leia, Relic 5. Aura Singh is already Relic. Fennec Shan is Relic. Mob and Force are easy. So, my biggest challenges ahead of me are the Relic 7s for 3PO, Jedi Knight Luke, Fennec Shan, and the Relic 6 for Aura Singh, Greedo, and, uh, and yeah, that's it. So those are the big Relics. And then the Kyrotex I'm going to need to finish Skiffguard Lando, Jedi Knight Luke, and Kersantan. And those are the big grinds I've got ahead of me, uh, the Kersantans and the Signal Data. So we're going to keep farming this. Can I get it done in 11 more weeks? It doesn't seem likely. It doesn't seem likely. I think this is going to go to, um, like a year, a year and two months, but, uh, yeah, so... Uh, there we go. Say, so, hey, one thing I forgot to point out, and maybe I'll make this the intro today. I'm now taking suggestions in my Discord. If you have a suggestion for me to uh, uh, for for what I should do on my next free-to-play journey, because when we finish Java, I'll probably take a week or two off, then I'm going to start another free-to-play journey here. I'm looking for suggestions. Mod Mothba, um, a lot of people want Lord Vader, a lot of people want Executor, um, a, a Dark Side team. I'm looking for early team suggestions. Journey suggestions, Galactic Legends suggestions to do another free-to-play account here after I finish Java. Go to my Discord. We have a room open for it. I think it's called the Free-to-Play Suggestion Room. Let me take a look here. It's called the Free-to-Play Vote Submissions Room. Go to my Discord. Go to the Free-to-Play Vote Submissions Room. I'll put a link in the de description here and make me some suggestions for what I should do on my next free-to-play farm as we finish up Java here in the next two to three months. Uh, that's all I got here. I got some Grand Arena action coming up for you after the credits, so stay tuned for that Grand Arena action. We got some grinding ahead of us, but but Boba Fett is finished. Maybe we'll get 3PO next week. It seems doubtful, but maybe I'll get some extra crystals along the way. Have a great day, everybody. Let's make our way toward Jabba. Uh, well, we are. We're making it. Well, let's, not, let's not do it. We are doing it. I'll talk to you soon. Always remember, Nooch too good. Alrighty, folks, it's time for our first round of Grand Arena. You know the uh, situation. You, We should just say, like, you know the rules. The rules are you get to go in and get punched around, and if the guy shows up, you might have a chance. If he puts a bad defense out, you might have a chance. But otherwise, 
You are taking one right smack dab in the face from... I literally didn't look at this before. I, I have missed the first time I saw it. <laughs> Jabba and Kylo, 6.7 million. I'm going to assume... <laughs> exec, I, I'm going to assume he's not playing. Let, let's go. If he's already gone, I mean, I'm actually here. I'm only, only an hour and 27 minutes left in Grand Arena. And if he's clear me, I'm just going to... I'm just going to die right here. I'll just die right here. Okay, he's not going to play. So, and he, and he put out some scrub defense just to help us out. So, let's go take advantage of the mostly scrub defense here. Uh, we're going to go with this and this. We'll get another Empire out there just to handle some some uh, some side notes. I don't know. There you go. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know what handle some side notes means. That is actually a nonsensical sentence. You want to handle some side notes. Oh, do you? Oh, do you? All right, let's see what we can do here. All right, there we go. There we go. Did I knock Spy out? Thank you. We're going to come back around to um, Poggle and GBA here in a second. I think what I want to do is take out GBA if I can. And I think I can. I think we can do this. And there we go. All right. So that's going to... Why do we always get evades? I, I hate evades so much. If there's one thing in the game I hate... You know, I remember I played a game called Legacy Leg Lego Heroes Unbox or something like that. Lego Legacy Heroes Unbox. And one of the teams, and I don't remember which, which team, like their primary um, mechanic was evasion. And boy, oh boy, did everybody hate that thing. All right, there we go. There we go. And by the way, they were copying Galaxy Heroes because at the beginning of this game, evasion was the meta at the very beginning of this game. So everybody copies Galaxy Heroes, don't they? All right, I don't know. I don't think I don't have a team to beat the Phoenix. There's no way. Nah, because Rex is gonna land nasty down, right? Yeah, no. Uh, CLS can't beat this team, and that's all I got. So I'm not beating Phoenix. We're not gonna try that. Let's go up top see what we can do. I thought I saw Bad Batch up there. I did. I see Bad Batch and CLS. Well, my Bad Batch are bad though. Like, Bad Bad Batch is what we got. Bad Bad Batch. So let's Wampa that. I don't know. Do they, do they land? I feel like they land Tenacity down too, but I don't think I'm going to be down. I think probably my Relic Rolo team would lose to that Bad Batch team. For real. We might have to test it out here in a minute. We'll see. Well, there's a daze that I guess is unavoidable, so that's awesome. But now it's, now it's avoided. All right. Go hit, uh, get Wrecker out. There you go, lady. Night. That's what. It's exact. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Just knock Wrecker out. Get him out of the game. Stack it up here. I think now I'm good just to one shot everybody. Yeah. The bad bad batch are going down to the Wampa. And you are next, and then you are final. Ooh. ooh. Omega saying I'm gonna live an extra turn. There we go. Max Banner is here with Wampa. Let's take our CLS team in here. I'm not going to look at... We're not looking at anything. Uh, my CLS team is obviously worse than his. Let's see. So I would say thanks, this guy, for putting some teams out that I actually have a chance against, I guess. Right? Right? Am I right? Am I right? Uh, we'll get Chewie out first. You know, they... I noticed they've updated the AI with this, and maybe it's always been this way and I just never noticed, but... They definitely zone in on Chewie as the first character they attack with the AI. Well, now we're on an even scale, except my um, Chupio is only like gear 11, so I'm actually behind here. This should actually maybe take him out. Yo, there you go. Uh, over to here. Han's gone. Oh, not quite. If Chewie was there, Han would be gone. And smack him around a little bit. I think we got her. Yeah, now we can stun him. Oh, no stun. Right. Sit down, Han. Or sit down, Luke. I'm coming off my stream that just where my computer crashed in the middle of it, but I was already dead anyway. Finalizer, huh? Well, folks, I can't beat Finalizer. Uh, I'll show you what I got. It's not going to be good enough. I got a six-star Executrix and some ships. Tell you what. Just, just for you guys to make you feel happy, I'll go in and take a shot. I wonder if I should start using my Plo Koon to, to recover. I just don't think I have a spot for it, you know? 
I'd love to bring in Plo Koon. I, just, I really don't feel like I have a spot for Plo Koon on the, on the reinforcement roster. Maybe when I get my seven-star executrix, I got that extra reinforcement slot. Maybe then. See, here's what's going to happen. They're going to hunt Houndstooth. So it's not going to get any turn meter. And they're just going to blow everything away. And then when I get Taunt, um, the um, Hilo Shell is going to remove it. And I'm not going to have any... Um, what's it called out there? This. My brain is, is failing right now. Any, um... Come on. Breach! Tony, I'm feeling a little chippy right now. Uh, I can't do you. Let's just do this, I guess. Oh, he's got the pure First Order uh, Finalizer fleet out there, doesn't he? Nope, nope. Let's do this. And here we go. Okay. Wow. Wow. If I get my seismic charge off, I might have a chance here. Offense up, seismic charge. Oh. Ability block. I need like six evades here. What? That's all I need is six evades. There you go. Round one. I think it's going to win. I think it's a win. Right? Round one. Well, boys and girls, it's round three of, of uh, Grand Arena. Sorry. Uh, the round two, I just... I didn't have time to record it. Sorry about that. But round three is here. We're 2-0. and oh, and I think it's on both events. And this is how it works. I, I don't know what to say. It's not like I can put up a defense. I just go out there and play. And if my opponents don't... I've advanced. I've advanced to, to Bronzium 4 here. Mostly on the strength of my opponents not playing. And this guy, yeah. I, uh, looks like I may have put a defense out. But I didn't. He just cleared one territory. And then moved on with his life. And didn't show up for the rest of it. This is easy stuff to clear. All I had to do was kill a couple more teams and the guy wins. And he didn't. And so I take it away. So I'm 2-0 only because I am showing up and they're not showing up. So just keep, just bear that in mind, folks. If you play Grand Arena consistently, you can climb up to Bronzium. And if we look at the rewards, you know, my, uh, uh, that's not right. Let's go look at the overall rewards because I think this matters. Rewards. In Bronzium 4, I'm getting 85 crystals every day. Every day. And, of course, I get bigger crystals at the end of the whole championship round. But if I was back in, in Carbonite, let's say Carbonite 2, I was getting 70 crystals a day. Well, 85 versus 70. 15 times 365 is about 5,000 extra crystals a year. So, there you go. Lucky me. All right, so Bronzium 4. Let's go play round 3 here and see what we got. I'm playing June. I'm not looking at rosters. I'm just going to assume, as always... The guy's got some big, giant stacked roster. He has cleared me, and he has Supreme. <laughs> I, I know I laugh every time. It's just funny. It's just funny. He has Supreme Leader Kylo Ren on defense. <laughs> well, I'm not clearing that. So let's just do our best, clear a few teams, and get out. <laughs> Maybe you guys are tuning out now. I don't know. <laughs> let's try these Night Sisters out. I want to I give them a go here. Um, generally, I don't think... My bounty, my, my bounty hunters aren't great, but his night sisters aren't great either, right? Oh, my bounty hunters are on defense. Well, we're gonna try old, uh, we're gonna try old Palpsy here. What was the other team? I can kill that Genet Revan team with CLS. I'm not that worried about it. So let's do old Palpsy and Vader here and see what we could do. So Palpatine, Wampa, Vader. Uh, we'll put uh, Tarkin in there just to give me some extra stuff, and I think we're gonna take a walk after that. Maybe I get a little bit of a taunt out of Gamble Guard or something. I don't know. Gamble Guard is huge. His picture is gigantic. And I guess it should be for all intents and purposes. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. I don't. Okay. Asajj goes first. Talzin goes second. They've got all the extra speed. So, uh, and of course, Daka goes third. Get our AoE. Womp is actually fairly useful even outside. Okay. Here we go. Drop the dots. Take the turn. Let's see if we can knock off two of them here. We're going to knock off you. Okay. Does she? She has all of her Zetas. We get Tal? We could not get Tal's and they're not really very close, actually. So, we're going to end up having to come back around here in a minute to Daka. I don't want to waste my Culling Blade here. Although, if we end up... I got... Ooh. I don't see a path now. 
Um, I, I need Palpatine to get a turn at some point. Poppins down is not a bad thing. Let's stack it. I'm going to hit Talzin. If I can take Talzin out. Okay, there we go. Now I can hit Daka and she'll be gone for good. Give it a shot. All right, there we go. Now let's take out Talzin. Nah. I need, if I get Merciless again, then I think this is over. Oh, that was, that was obnoxious. That was obnoxious. Am I on Merciless? Please be on Merciless. I'm on it. Okay. Drop the dots. Merciless Massacre. Daka's gone. Talzin's gone. Asajj is gone. Oh, not gone. Now Asajj is gone. Too many dots for her to stand up to. And too many... Alright, basics for... And there we go. Hey, there we go. Wop is still around. Wop actually does okay on that Vader team. It adds some more dots. And just... To, she has survivability even when she's not solo. So there you go. Alright, uh, not solo or solo. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this uh, Genetic Revan team. And then I'll probably go kill some Ewoks. Maybe? I don't even know if I can kill the Ewoks with my Rolo team. Because that's what I got left. And she's garbage. So we'll see what happens. Just get rid of Yoda first. Okay, we're through the first round of Revival. And maybe the... Uh, I thought I'd be able to get rid of Yoda. Yoda's gone. Okay, now we gotta get rid of Jolie. And we got rid of Jolie. And now we are off to the races. I'm just gonna auto this, actually. Are they gonna get a turn? They got a turn. Congratulations. Vasily gets a turn, and that might be the last turn they get. Although, uh... Hermit Yoda's gonna get a turn. There he got his turn. Now Basila goes down, and that's it. So they each got one turn. Congratulations. I'm sure that his ships are some big beefy thing. I, for all I know, he could have Executor sitting back there. Ensuring his Bronzium 4 victories. <laughs> it's just funny. Oh, we can take a shot at this. We can take a shot at that. Um... Spy. All right. Let's get a shot at the fleet here. I got 19 minutes till I gotta work. Yay for work! <laughs> I like this work so much better than the other work. And it's nothing against the other work. There's certainly fine people there and, and uh, quality individuals keeping things in line and making sure I'm doing my job, but you no, know, it's work. Alright. Get some ability blocks. Spy is gonna stealth here, and so is Geo Soldier, but I did, you know, I'm always targeting Sunpeck anyway. Let's do this. Let's get on Spy. Just do a little more damage there. Okay. The Falcon comes out and doesn't even... Is that weird? Does it... Is... Oh, man. They all got Foresight. That's not good. I don't even know what the Falcon's reinforcement ability is because it never happens except for today. Congratulations. You got to see the Falcon's reinforcement ability. Okay. The reason I do my Slave 1 out there on the starting lineup is so it doesn't reinforce, because when it reinforces, it gains Taunt, and when it taunts, things go badly for me, uh, because it dies pretty... It's pretty fluffy. It's not a stiff ship. So, I'm going to get a Seismic Charge here in a moment, I, I believe. Do I get the Seismic Charge now? I got it. Gotta love those sound effects, baby. And there we go. We can't target the Falcon. We're going to win! Hey, we beat his fleet. I'm surprised he didn't have... Well, hang on. Hold, please. Let's make sure we don't want to get a little... Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. I'm going to bring out Spy. Uh, no, I'm not going to bring out... I'm going to bring you out. We'll get a stun on Slave 1 here. There we go. Now we can tee off on it. <laughs> Evade. That's great. That's tremendous. We get the... There we go. And gone. Yes. I was looking for that breach so that IG-2000 would hit twice. Yeah, we got this. Ah, oh, even after Thrawn goes off. That's bad. That's actually super duper bad. Wow. That might change the whole thing right there. I mean, that's what Thrawn does. Come on, guys. The evades are bad. Am I going to lose now? Is Thrawn going to beat me? Just, oh, man. Hang on. Hang on. No evade. Okay. Almost got the Falcon. Okay, Falcon's out. IG-2000's out. I need my TIE Fighter Swarm. If I get my TIE Fighter, there it is. Okay, I won. Woo! That was not pretty, but we got the job done. Let's go see if we can kill the Ewoks with Rolo, and then I'll be bowing out for the day. So we'll go 2-1. and one. 
Hey man, two of one and Bron James four with this kind of roster, I'll take it. I, I don't think this is a win. I think this is a loss every day and Sunday. Uh, we'll put R2 in there again. And just watch the Ewoks obliterate these ones. He didn't have Nisa in there. If he had Nisa, it's going to be even uglier at this point. All right, no Nisa. Let's get after you. Guess I'll do... Let's do Rolo here so that her AoEs do more. I probably should have done Captain Hunter Lando, actually. I should have done Lando with his AoEs. Okay, got a turn. Let's just do the damage. Okay. What's Lando going to do here is the question. If he gets a turn. That's the question. Will Lando get a turn? <laughs> there it is. Okay. They all had foresight. <laughs> I think Rolo is like the, one of the worst characters. For for what she's supposed to represent, you, you have to farm Rolo in order to farm Jabba and Jedi Master Luke and... Um, and Leia Organa, and she's just a giant flaming pile of poo. She's such a horrible character. One of my least favorite characters in the game. And people, it's funny, people put her on defense all the time because it's like, oh, I got I got a relic character here. I'm going to throw her on defense because I need some teams on defense. And you just get shredded her. She just gets shredded. Emphis Nest can solo her. Almost anything can beat a Rolo team. It's really kind of ridiculous, actually, when you really look at it. Captain Han has some usefulness. Uh, I like to say utility in uh, Proving Grounds. If you're in the, <laughs> there you go. In the, I think it's the TIE Interceptor level with a CLS team where he can revive. Other than that, Captain Han is equally as useless in the game. Um, it's really unfortunate. I know Sanastaros is, is a lifter, but it's not, not enough of a lifter. We're gonna watch our team die here. I'll we'll put it on Lando this time. He's, he's got days though. And he's dead. And we're all dead. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Hey, guys, that's going to wrap us up. That's two. I didn't get to record the second round, but we went two and one for this round of Grand Arena on the Java account. We're doing the best we can. Hanging in there. Winning by default. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching once again. I'm going on vacation now, so I'll be back here for a few days. This is actually the last moment I have with you for a few days other than a few, some shorts I'm throwing out there. So I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you next week. Always remember, it's too good.